All right, hey, he's Mega here, and we're, I'm doing a show and tell video on my Cortec racing suit. All right, I think it's a Cortec Apex suit, and uh, I will be putting these force field hip protectors in it. Okay, because uh, he's a Mega has crashed on his hips a bunch of times, not on a racetrack, but yeah, it sucks when you cr when you get thrown off your bike and you land on your hip. It hurts a whole lot, so I make sure I beef up the hip armor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, so here it is That's the what it comes like in the packaging. All right. This is the box. It came in All right. Um, I'm not gonna lie. They didn't pack it so well. There's really no packaging material in there except for this <laughs> and um, And like it wasn't even taped all the way right? uh, Okay, but... so I got this. This is a Cortec Apex V1 race suit. All right. This is the uh, red and white in large all right and then right over there, we've got the Force Field Isolator 2 replacement hip armor, right? Uh, I got this for on sale for $350. It normally retails for $500. Um, it, they were having like a end of the year sale, all right? And there, there it is. And sure enough, I checked the website today and it's $500 again. So I think I got a steal. Almost half off, almost, all right? Um, I also did get a military discount, so um, I actually saved about twenty dollars. All right, if you if you go to Revzilla and you have a GovX account and you give them your DD two fourteen or whatever you know an ID card or something to prove that you're in the in the armed forces, then uh, you can get a discount on it. So and I, I saved like twenty bucks. All right, I think it's like a ten percent discount or something. Um, yeah, so GovX, all right. So if you're a veteran, take advantage of the discount. I never, I never knew Revzilla had that until now. So and it was so easy to to apply. Also, it's it's just like right there on the checkout. Okay, so there's a little plug for them, and and some info 411 for you veterans out there. And then yeah, I did get the hip armor that was about forty something dollars. All right, so so the, I'm planning to use these two together. Um, so this is my first race suit that I bought brand new. Okay, so um, I have this one. Actually, I have all my race suits. Yes, I have all my race suits here. <laughs> Coincidentally, this is my first race suit or racing leathers. All right, or one piece leather. Uh, it had a built one. All right, I didn't like this one. Uh, it's it's light and it fits me well, but it just I I felt the protection wasn't there. You know, um, I crashed once with it and I already had a hole in it. So. <laughs> um, this suit, um, yeah, this is my second suit. Yeah, this is my second. I, I have a two-piece suit also, but um, but these are my one-piece suits. And I bought this one for like 200 bucks. Yeah, I got the built one for 150 used, all right? So all of these suits are secondhand, all right? Um, and the tough thing about getting a used suit is, yeah, it, it may or may not fit you. You know, you just have to get lucky. And then finding one in the colors that you like, you know, is tough. Hades Omega likes the black and the white theme, okay? So that's why I got a suit with a lot of black and white, all right? This says it's red and white, but it's it's actually black, white, and red. Or what more like white, black, and red, all right? I, to tell you the truth... Um, after seeing myself in the photos and stuff on track days and stuff, you want more bright colors, all right, guys? Bright colors are more photogenic, all right? I think you you look better with bright colors. That's why, you know, a lot of the motocross stuff is these kind of fruity pebbles stuff, kind of like this suit back here. <laughs> this suit is fruity pebbles right here. This is an AGV suit that I got for really cheap off of Facebook, I think like 40 bucks or something, and it actually didn't fit me, so... But I said, I'll take it. I'll see if I can resell it. So I'm trying to sell that one. I'm trying to sell my re my built suit also, since I don't wear it anymore. Um, yeah. Maybe I just take it out on the street. I don't know. Uh, but the reason I don't like my Joe Rocket suit is it's it's bulky, all right? Um, it fits me, but the chest area is, like, huge on it. It's for someone with a huge chest. But other than that, it fits me great. But it's heavy. All right, I just feel really bulky in it. Um, I weighed it. I think it's about like 12 pounds. All right, so we'll probably weigh this one when I get out of the packaging. And then I've got to actually try it on. Okay. <laughs> so I got the large. The interesting thing to note is uh, Cortec. Uh, this is, so this is the first time I bought anything from the Cortec brand. All right, I do know Cortec. It says they've been around since 1999 here. All right, speed, performance, and style. All right. 
Um, and I know they make like jackets and pants and boots, all the motorcycle stuff. They make tank bags, all this stuff. All right, so there, it's a it's a name brand. All right, guys. I'm not gonna lie, Hades Omega would would fancy a uh, Alpine Stars or Dionysi suit, but man, they're just so expensive. All right, and I haven't found a used one. You know, um, yeah, that's what I want to say. So, um, yeah, I got this one for $350. What a bargain. It's the most expensive suit that I bought, but it's brand new, all right? So, I, like I said, I got this one for $200. I got that one for $150. All right, I got that one for $40. Bucks, but for $350, I, it was a $500 suit. It retails at $500, and they were selling it for $350. That's a no-brainer, right? And with the military discount, I got even more off. So, so yeah. Yeah. Um, and then uh, when we get out of the packaging, I'll let you know the why why I chose this suit for you know its specific features and stuff. All right, because Hades Mega is a supermoto racer. All right, I don't race like sport bikes and stuff. I don't need a really fancy suit. All right. Um, okay. Uh, so yeah, let's. That's the four one one on how I got this. All right. And so I'll be rocking this this year if it fits me. We'll see. <laughs> um, so yeah. The interesting thing to know about these suits, the way they they size them is like they just do a, like a small, medium, and large type of thing, okay? They don't go by numbers, all right? Uh, like the Joe Rocket here, this is a 40, 48. Oh, that's why it's so bulky. That's that's one of the bigger. So Hades Omega is, I, I've, I measured myself for a suit and stuff. Um, I'm like a 40, like a 42 to a 48. I can wear any one of those sizes, you know. 48 is probably on the looser side, where 42 will be like on the tight side. In my opinion, I think you should get a suit that's a little bit bigger than what you need, all right? So you can put like armor and stuff in it, all right? And so it's easier to take on and off. I know it's supposed to be tight and it's not supposed to bunch up and stuff, but yeah. <laughs> it, should, it, should be, it should be pretty snug is what I want to say, but not too snug. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, so, so they, I, I looked at the... Uh, like a bunch of people's posts the so best thing to do when you're buying a suit is to like see what people people that have bought this suit before and then like their you know their physique like oh generally you know oh i'm looking i'm 5'10 180 pounds so you know i'm a large all right type of thing in this brand so so yeah but like i said this one is strange because they use those you have to use their size chart and stuff to to figure it out okay but I'm 5'10", 180 pounds, all right, and uh, and it seemed like the large one is the one that I need, all right. Um, I could have probably gone with the large or the medium, but I chose to go with a little bit larger one. Hopefully, it's not too large, okay. If it's too large, we might have to return it and get the medium, <laughs> okay, which would kind of suck. All right, um, so yeah, that's the thing about the sizing with the Cortec. It's a little different than all the other ones. Um, like I said, I'm size 42 to 44. And the other sizes, right? In the American sizes. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go open it up, and then, uh, and then I guess I'll try it on. I'll show you guys what it looks like while I'm wearing it, and then, uh, and you'll be seeing me racing with this this year if uh, if it fits me. <laughs> okay. Uh, also, I, it was a kind of a toss up between black and white or the red and white. All right. Um, and uh and i've got a little bit of red on my bike i used to have a red motorcycle and i think red pops out pretty nice and it makes you three times faster all right <laughs> okay so yeah there it goes i chose the red and the white one right but it's still got a good amount of black in it still um the only thing i don't like about yeah the only thing i don't like bright co uh, white colors is that um it'll get it gets dirty when you when you're racing in the dirt all right and that's what i'm going to be doing supermoto okay man this suit's a little old but it's still strong <laughs> okay all right let's uh let's open it up and let's check it out uh yeah you know, also you can find their stuff at www.cortec.net all right warning about suffocation so this is how it comes in this nice plastic bag it's like a it's kind of like a garment bag all right i'm not really sure how to open i think there's a zipper here somewhere yeah okay and it's made in pakistan okay they make them in pakistan oh, okay there she is brand new racing suit all right brand new racing leathers Ooh, i like it all right it had uh these plastic sleeves on it covered it with these 
silica gel packs, all right, to keep the moisture out of them. There it is, looks nice. Okay, so there's the view from here. It just looks like a jacket, you know, with the pants on it already. <laughs> okay, you can see it's got a perforated chest here. There's the Cortec logo right there. Kind of looks like a Plymouth logo. <laughs> there is a Velcro thing right here for the to hide the zipper. It says Cortec right here. Cortec right here. You definitely know it's a Cortec suit. It's got Cortec all over it, man. <laughs> all right, there's a zipper for the sleeves. Get some light on. Okay, it's got some red around the collar. It's got a... Uh, it's got knee, soft knee protection. All right. I think it's got CE level 1 protection. There's a... Uh, it has uh, the knee pucks on there. All right. On the inside here, it's white. I like how um, the stretch panel goes all the way in the back behind the knee all right um i had a uh, that built suit i crashed and i ripped it all right i ripped it like right here where the where the stretch fabric meets the leather yeah I, it's good if it the leather wraps around more all right <laughs> it's it's scratched that so easily so i'll say it looks like it's got some stretch material on the bottom here it's got like a little booty at the end of it i hope my knee will go through that all right, yeah, sometimes people have, you know, different people all people are not all created equally, is all I'm gonna say, guys. All right, um, so here you've got a TPU slider right here. Another one up here. There's they're pretty soft. All right, I don't plan on using them. <laughs> none of my other suits have that. Yeah, actually, no, none of my other suits have that. There's no TPU stuff, except here on the shoulder. Okay. Pretty cool. Perforations here. There's a there's a little pad here. There's a stre red stretch panel right here. There's that. So here you got a, a, a elbow pad. And then you got this TPU on the outside here. All right, you've got a pad right here on the hip. As you, so that's why I wanted to get uh, upgraded upgrade the hip armor because the hip armor is not very strong i think the hip oh yeah the hip armor is right here yeah we'll see when i open it up okay let's check out the back all right there's the back okay so one thing you might notice all right the back doesn't have the speed hump all right there's no speed hump all right i don't need a freaking speed hump guys <laughs> that's the main reason i bought this suit all right other than yeah it was on sale all right, so the reason I didn't buy this suit is because Hayes Mega races Supermoto. I don't race the freaking sport bikes where I have to lean over a whole lot. And I, so I don't need that little aerodynamic hump on there, okay? So um, I've always wanted a suit that's tailored for more like Supermoto racing. And this is this looks like a good one, all right? You got a black perforations here. You've got um, foam all along the spine. Hayes Mega is planning to ride with at least a standalone back protector with this all right so uh, like if i have a force field back protector that i'll be using with it so hopefully there's enough space in there that's why i say to get a suit that's a little bit bigger all right than what you think you need so you can use accessories like that all right there's a little padding on the tailbone right here okay it's good to have the word suck to crash on your tailbone it says so there's a white stretch panel here and it says black and cortex very nice all right you got some red striping here and some red stretch panels right here very cool okay you got stretch panels all the way back here okay very good i think this will do the trick <laughs> all right here's this cortex that's a red warranty card i'll be filling that out if it fits me dealer label there's a Cortex sticker here. All right. Oh, here's some features. All right. 
Let's read them together. So this is the Apex Double R Men's One Piece Suit. I thought it was an Apex V1, but... Apex One Piece Suit. Well, whatever. This is... <laughs> Um, so this is one of their lower end suits is what I want to say. I think I think this is their lowest end suit right. So their entry level one, but the the entry level one doesn't have the hump. So that's why I wanted it. All right guys um, So one of the features it's a sport fit with rotated sleeves and pre curves arms and legs All right, so it's probably got like a saggy butt um, And and yeah, the arms are like already curved and stuff so, so those of you like on the sport bikes, it's for the sport, you know, more sporty. <laughs> um, it's a 1.2 to 1.4 millimeter drum dyed cowhide leather, perforated chest, torso, and top of legs. I mentioned that accordion stretch panels on shoulders, back, elbows, and knees, uh, four-way stretch sides, inner arms, and crotch gusset, fixed meshed liner, which includes an ID pocket. That's good. I hope there's a pocket for my cell phone. Um, some of my suits have that. TPU shoulder and elbow armor. There you go. Was there a shoulder? I can't can't tell. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right here. That's the TPU right there. Okay, there, right here. All right, not very thick, but hey, it's there. You know, at least you got something. All right. Uh, the, my other suits don't have anything there. <laughs> um, it has a CE-approved shoulder, elbow, and knee armor. All right, so these are probably... CE level one is my guess. I don't know. We'd have to take the armor out. They feel like they're pretty hard. They could be CE two. I'm not sure, but uh, but yeah, it's it's made for you know motorcycle crashes and stuff. Okay. The higher the level, the more protection, right? Uh, removable EVA foam hip pads. It fits the Knox 216 hip pads and a removable EVA foam back pad, and it fits a Knox Advanced 107 back pad. So you can, there's a, there's an insert for the back. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to take it out. It depends if I have space in the suit, right? I might, I might leave it or take it out to add space, like a buffer in there. Uh, there's a zippered leg opening and it includes knee sliders and reusable zippered storage bag and a genuine YKK zippers. All right, there you go. But yeah, there's the, uh, there's the zipper. Okay, very cool. So uh, I guess Hades Mega should try it on and see if it fits them first. All right, it looks, I hate, this, I hate to say it, it looks kind of small, man. <laughs> this is the large, right? So, okay. Okay, let's take a peep at the inside. So here's the pocket for the back protector. All right, it's just kind of like a standard foam one. I don't even think it's a, that's CE rated. All right, it says it's a large right here. All right, and there there is also a hip pad somewhere in here. It's right here. Actually, they're pretty good. Hip pads are not bad. Hmm. I don't know if I should should upgrade it. Oh well, like I said, Hades Omega likes hip armor bad. All right, and then there's an ID card pouch here. Oh, there's no there's no pockets. Oh, here's there's a pocket right here. All right, there's a cell phone pocket. I don't know if my cell phone will fit in there though. I have a pretty big phone, so yeah. <laughs> okay. There's a YKK zipper. As you can see, I can zip it. No problem going up. It's smooth action. Hopefully that zipper will last a long, long time. Okay. So, uh... And then, yeah, there is a zipper on the sleeves also. Okay. There is, like, a little leather right here. There's a... Oh, there's no leather. This is, like, a... There's some soft material at the edges. That's kind of interesting. Normally it's just a leather at the end. Yeah, see like these, these have leather rolled though. Oh, these don't, this doesn't even have, it's not even rolled at the end. <laughs> this one has, all the suits are a little different, right? Yeah, but it looks kind of like a basic suit and stuff. All right, but there's, there you go. All right, let's try it on. Okay, there we go. That's it. It it kind of fits me. I'm not gonna lie. It's tight on the chest. It's really really hard for me to get it over my chest. All right, so that that leads me to believe when I put a standalone back protector in this thing, it's probably not gonna fit me, man. I might need to go with a bigger size, man. However, it fits. It fits just like my AGV suit. All right, my AGV suit 
everything fits fine except the chest. I'm like, oh man, come on. What, did I have like a weird sized chest or something? I think I'm pretty like an average dude, you know? Um, yeah, so the sleeves, little, little loose for me. That's what I'm gonna say, but I think it's okay. We're gonna be having, we'll put the gloves in here anyways, right? Um, yeah. It feels a lot like my belt suit, actually. Uh, I should probably put my boots on and try it with the back protector next, okay? But for the most part, yeah, it fits. Could I could I race with this? Yes. The question is, how easy is it to get off? <laughs> Just gonna take the top part off. All right. I feel like I really feel like I should go with the extra large, maybe. <laughs> get it off. Now maybe it might stretch a little later. I can help. Okay. Yeah, wow, it feels it's really light. It feels good. I, I really like it. It doesn't feel bulky like my other right. suit. Alright, I got my old force field back protector. Oh Jesus. I got my old force field back protector. Here we go. Put this bad boy on. Let's see if it fits. Okay, ta-da! I got it on with the back protector on. <laughs> okay, you can't tell I'm wearing it, but yeah. So what I had to do was uh, take. Uh, I had to take the back protector, the the back protector insert out of the suit. All right. Um, I do have like a. I have an Alpine Stars back protector. It might work in this, all right. So I might want to try that also, but I would rather use like a, the, the force field one that I have. All right, it kind of covers the tailbone and everything. Lots of protection. All right. Um, yes, it's pretty tight on the chest area. Okay. Yeah, but I think it'll break in. I think this is fine. This will work for me. Okay. Uh, okay the question is, can I take it off <laughs> with the back protector? So I am wearing a, uh, a long sleeve underwear. I only wear I wear like a two piece underwear. So yeah, not bad. It's not bad, all right. And then there's the back protector right there. All right. So I think I have a chest protector. Um, it's a chest and back protector. I, there's no way that's going to fit in this suit. Okay. So I'm probably only going to wear it with this one. Maybe on the cooler days, I'll wear this suit, man, but this suit, yeah, I like it. It feels good. Okay, I feel like I can move pretty well in it. I, I think it still needs to be broken in. It feels a little tight still, so hopefully it loosens up a bit. All right, but anyway, yeah, I'll show you, show you how I put it on, all right, from, from, the, from the waist up, okay? So I got the back protector here, put the straps on. He's maybe going to have to get used to this. I kind of just put the waist one on first before I put the other strap on. Okay, make sure the little tailbone piece is inside the suit before I try to put it on. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the last strap. <laughs> I hate these straps, man. That's one thing I hate about these. Can I just cut them off? Just have the chest. Okay, there's one arm, there's the other arm. And I have to kind of like waddle around in it a little bit. There we go. Now the question is when you start, when you're really sweaty, <laughs> how is it going to be taking the suit off? That's another question, man. When it's sweaty, the suit's like sticks to you, right? <laughs> That's why you wear the underwear, okay? Okay, so let me go put my boots on and then I'll show you what it looks like with my Alpine Star SMX boots. And that'll be the end of the video, all right? So, but yeah, I think I'm keeping it, all right? So, but yeah, it's a, so it's a little, I'm like two fingers. Yeah, two fingers in the, the sleeve here, okay? I think that's like kind of too much. I would like it less than that. All right. Um, 
Arms are okay. It's a little baggy in the arms, just a little bit. Chest is tight, all right? Chest is tight, but not super duper tight. I can put it on and take it off. It's not like my AGV suit. Uh, oh yeah, the, the next thing we gotta do is we gotta put the hip protectors in, all right? But that'll, that's fine, I won't get that. But it does have a hip protector and it has a decent back protector, okay? I think if you just wanted to wear a one-piece leather suit on the street, this would be fine, all right? Maybe if you're doing just cart days, cart track days on mini bikes, yeah, this might be okay, all right? But I would go with the full back protector. They're not that expensive, you know, and it's more protection. All right, um, I do notice that the the knee, the knee armor, it kind of gets hung up on my knee. Hopefully, after a while, the suit will kind of like form, you know, form itself. Uh, another thing is, yeah, we should try sitting on the bike. Let's sit on the bike. Okay, the bike I'll be sitting on the most is my Soren Lightly, probably, for this thing. So, I'm going to take my leg over just fine. Alright. Let's try it. A tuck. Oh, yeah. I can feel it. It's like choking my neck, man. I, hopefully it loosens up. I feel like the neck is kind of too short too, man. Like, uh, I mean, I guess that's okay. It's not a big deal. How much movement do I have? Okay. Let's try standing. Feels good standing. Right, because that's, that's one of the things that we we have to do in super motos, we need to stand because we ride off road, right? But anyway, most of the time, we'll probably be in a tuck, at least like a half tuck, you know? And when we get on the straights, a full tuck, all right? And yeah, so this will definitely work. Okay, there it is with the boots on. It's fine. All right, that's my Alpine Star boots. If anything, it's, it's probably a little bit loose, but it's okay to have it a little bit loose because sometimes I like to tuck a transponder into the boot, so. It's good to have it a little bit loose. So. Okay, um, yeah, I hate to say it, man. All this white is not going to stay white for long, man. Once we take this thing off road, it's going to be like a white and and dirt colored. <laughs> okay, it's kind of sad. It's going to get really, really dirty. But I think this suit will be fine. All right. Can can, can you kneel down with it? Yeah, I can kneel down with it. Let's kneel on the carpet. Oh yeah, the pucks are a little high. Yeah, I'm surprised. Um, I might not even keep the pucks on there. I'm not sure, man. These pucks seem like they're not in the right place. They should be like on the outside, right? Let me see. No, no, I think it's fine. We'll see how long it. We'll see if I ever scrape scrape up these pucks. I've never. I never dragged knee before, man. <laughs> so, yeah, I need the right bike for it. <laughs> okay, but there it is. This is the Cortec Apex. I think it's Apex Double R or Apex V1. All right. Um, I guess they're maybe they're getting ready for the V2 soon. So, <laughs> I'm glad they're selling it. But yeah, it looks great, man. I like it. It it's not as bulky as this Joe, old Joe Rocket suit. All right, the leather's all hard on this, so. Um, yeah, I definitely want to make sure the leather stays nice and soft on this guy. Okay, thanks for watching. Hayes Mega got this for $350 from Revzilla and with a military discount. Um, you can also, uh, I would wait till they have a sale again, I guess. Because so this was a $500 suit and they were selling it at $350. And now it's no longer on sale, so um, I think I got a great, great deal on it. All right. Um, it fits with these boots just fine. All right, these are Alpine Star SMX2, I think, boots. Um, yeah, can't wait to try it on the track. I had to take the uh, the back protector out, the one that goes with it, so I could use my own back protector. Um, but that's okay. Feels good. All right, and it, it is a little tight on my chest, but I think I think it'll break in. I think it'll be fine. I know the arms a little loose. The knees are a little loose, all right? And the butt, I think the butt is just fine. It's supposed to be a little baggy on the butt because I have to, you know, this is the racing position, right? <laughs> right?
Yeah, actually it feels perfect like that. So yeah, it should feel a little baggy at for when, when you're standing up, but once you get on the bike, it feels good. And that's how it is. Yeah, and I feel like I can move really well with it. So yeah, that's not the case with this guy. <laughs> Hopefully it stays, uh, it keeps me cool is all I'll say, all right? Because we're going to be riding some ha ha attempts with this. All right, thanks for watching. That's the Cortec uh, Apex race suit in red and white. This is size large. Uh, I will put my uh, my I'll put my measurements on the uh, on the description of the video if you guys want to know my measurements. Uh, like I said, this is a size large, and my, the chest is kind of too tight. All right. Uh, it, I, I would like it would be nice if the chest was a little looser. as well as it, because it would make it easier to put on and take off, and I could probably add more back protectors and stuff on it. All right. Um, but taking the back protector, taking the integrated back protector out of it, um, or taking the back protector that came with the suit, um, did the trick. All right, so that, that's fine. <laughs> as long as you wear a back protector, it's all good. Um, I might see if I could put a, a, a bigger standalone back protector, but I think this is fine. We'll try different stuff. And then so I have, um, also this has hip pockets in it. All right, yeah, let's go take a look at the hip pockets and then that will be the end of the video. Okay guys, we're gonna go check out the hip protection real quick. All right, so right down in here, there's the hip pocket right there, all right? That's the hip armor right there. So if I can feel it, it's right here to right here. Also, there's a little extra padding material sewn in right here too. Well, it's right on top of it though. It's kind of weird. So that's the hip. Let's take the hip armor out real quick and let's see if the force okay, field. So that's armor what the, the left hip armor looks like when I took it out. It's kind of like that. Alright. It's just a f piece of like high density foam. It's better than nothing for sure. <laughs> okay. So we'll see if uh, these force field isolator uh, hip protectors. Okay, so that's the difference between the force field uh, protectors and these. Uh, the ones that come in these suit, all right? So I think these are symmetrical, so you can use it on the left or the right. This one is just the left, all right? I think it's supposed to kind of go like, it goes like that on the suit, okay? So I'm gonna go put this in there. Okay, see if it fits. It looks like it fits. It's like, it's actually just the right size. It's a little bit smaller, but it's, it's more protection. These are CE level two guys. It'll absorb more energy, all right? So your bones don't have to. <laughs> okay. All right. And it's force field. It's the good stuff, man. Okay. It's in there. Yeah, it's in there somewhere. <laughs> but it fit. All right. Fit. And so here's where I can feel it. Pretty much the same area. Okay. Yeah. From here to about here. All right. Okay. So I'm going to put them in. I'm going to try it on, but... I'll let you guys okay, know. Okay, so uh, I got it with the hip protectors on there. All right, I don't know, maybe you're going to be like in a crouch like this, but I'm pretty sure when you fall over, you could be in like in any position, man. <laughs> so I was able to get it on just fine. I did notice the suit's a little heavier with it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I can feel it right here. And it ends like right here, like on my hip bone. Like it's, it missed the hip bone. <laughs> I hate to say it. It misses the hip bone by a little bit. I don't know if they're adjustable, uh, but it needs to move up, all right? It's not too, it's not high enough, all right? My hip is right here, all right? And the armor is like right here. I can feel it. So like it's about an inch off is all I'm going to say, all right? Hopefully it hits that before your hip touches the ground. But yeah, I don't think these hip, hip protection is very good is what I'm going to say. Okay. Okay, anyway, there you go. So I've got the force field back armor, uh, a standalone back armor, and the hip, uh, force field hip protectors, and they fit in here. They fit in the pockets, all right, but I, I feel that it's not where it needs to be, all right? <laughs> it needs to be higher. Yeah, it needs to be higher and more back or something. All right, maybe I have a weird hips or something. I'm not sure. It feels like the hip is just, it's just right. Because when I, when I bend over, everything tightens up, so. 
Yeah, it feels like it's more a thigh protector than a hip protector, right? And well, I say thigh is muscle, man. It's it's you'll get you it'll hurt, you'll get bruised, but but the hip is like it's pointy, it's a bone, so you don't want that to touch the ground. <laughs> you might break having a broken hip would suck, okay? All right, so there you go. I'll see if I can play around with the hip protectors, but I might as well just leave them in, all right? <laughs> but I bought them, you know, they weren't very cheap. Uh, they were like the most, ex almost the most expensive protectors in there, so. But I, I highly suggest you try to get the best hip protection you can. Also, I do have a climb, uh, I have the armored underwear, all right? The armored, uh, the, the battle, battle short, I call them battle shorts, that's what I call them. Yeah, I have the battle shorts and they do have the armor on it. So, I don't know, we'll see if, uh, if I don't like this, uh, we'll just take we'll just take all the hip armor, we'll take all the inside armor off, and I'll wear the underwear. I I kind of don't like wearing the underwear. That's just more stuff for me to wear. You know, I would honestly I would rather have everything on the suit, so I just put it on. I don't have to put anything extra because you're constantly taking this off and putting it on at the racetrack. You know, it's just it's a chore, man. Once I put it on, but yeah, once I put it on, I don't take it off. All right, <laughs> until the race, until the riding is done, I don't take it off. All right, I'm not one of those people like I hop in my suit and take off my suit. You know, no, I don't do that. All right. Okay, uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this uh, show and tell video. This is my new uh, new threads for the 2023 race season. All right, I'll be using this for super moto racing mainly. I don't have a big bike to go on the big tracks anymore not not yet anyways um so yeah um probably you for we'll probably use the joe rocket suit for big bike track days all right but uh but like i feel like it's kind of too bulky for stuff <laughs> okay but i think this will be a great suit especially since it doesn't have a little hump in the all right he's is trying to find the, the right combination of armor <laughs> okay so i'm wearing the my climb like armored commando briefs all right <laughs> my my combat shorts right now and it feels like it protects much better all right um it's softer than this all right i tried to put this and wear my shorts at the same time and it's just not comfortable all right so this is really right, right here okay so i don't know what it's trying to protect it's trying to protect your femur or something i, I don't know man uh, because that's where your femur is i think and then the the muscles like behind it right here so but you want it to protect your hip, and your hip, my hip is right here, okay? So it should be, it should be like something like that, but it's, it's actually right here, where the Cortec logo is, so. Um, I don't know what it, what it's trying to protect with the hip pockets down there. I think they're in the wrong place, man. Um, yeah. That's what I want to say. Um, but with the, uh, with the combat shorts, I've got padding right here, all right, where the pad is right now, all right? There's like two two foam strips right here, and then there's another two foam strips exactly where these were, all right, in the pockets. Exactly where the pockets are. So I think I'm going to try it with the... Uh, right now, I don't have any armor in it right now. There's no no armor in the pockets, but I'm wearing the combat shorts, okay? Um, if you guys want to see what they look like. But I think right now, it, I think this feels good, all right? The only thing I don't like about the combat shorts is, yeah, what if you forget your combat shorts? Then you got no hip protection, you know. It's just one one more thing to bring to the racetrack, you know. It's like one more thing to put on. All right, but yeah, there, there they are. Okay. So it's got it's got a protection on like on top of the hip, right on the hip, and just below the hip. All right. It's great. And there's there's a, there's another one down here. Okay. So I think that's probably what I'm gonna go with. We're just gonna wear these. Plus, it's, it's got a, it's also got the tailbone protector here, all right. And it's got, and it's got a little cushion on the crotch, so you know it's you'll be more comfy on the seat. So I think that's what we're just gonna have to go with. Um, I will try it with the uh, with the regular armor in. See see how it is. If it still feels comfy, I'll just leave that in, and I'll probably just return these. Okay.